Zero to Savvy is brought to you by IntoInBodywear.com. It's all about feeling sexy and having fun. And Gold's Gym Hollywood. It all starts here. I'm Aaron Savvy. My mission to help you see the vision of what the new you will look like and feel like. I'll take you from zero to savvy. I'm here at beautiful Gold's Gym Hollywood. What I have here is the Easy Curl Bar. If you're rocking your shoulders, it's because the weight's probably too heavy and you've got to create that momentum to sit there and lift to create that pump. We want to correct that. We want to isolate and work that bicep to the most that we can. So what I'm going to do with my foot position, I'm going to bring my left foot forward, my right foot back, keep all my weight on my back right foot, because now that's now going to create my perfect stance, which is chest out, shoulders back. Keep your elbows, arms tight to your side. You're gonna exhale and breathe out as you come all the way up. And you're just bending at your elbows. You are now able to isolate and work that bicep. And what you can do is we can actually do a combination of working the inside muscle to the outside of the bicep from performing, going in this direction here, maybe performing 10 reps and then sneaking to the outside and coming straight up. enhance vascularity and development much faster and that my friends will take you from zero to seven. I work long hours as a trainer and I'm sure you work long hours too. So what do we do? We, we fall short and we call for pizza. So no, no pizza. We're gonna make chicken, okay? High protein, low fat, healthy, tasty. What I've done is gotten a cookie sheet and I have lined it with uh, tin foil. And I don't want to have to scrub or clean my cookie sheets. So preheat the oven, okay, to 375. A little bit of uh, virgin olive oil spray. Get my chicken, skinless, high protein, low fat. I love peppers. As we're gonna cut it right down the center here, I'm gonna carve out half of it. So I'm just gonna come in, I'm gonna come right across. All right, we're gonna rinse. The seeds out. I'm just gonna cut this into fours, okay? So we have kind of a cup there, a cup there. We're gonna stuff these. Lay my red peppers onto the, uh, the tin foil there. I love carrots. I'm actually just gonna cut the top off. And then with my knife, I'm just gonna come right down the center of my carrot. And I'm actually just, I like them in halves. I'm, I like them a little bit bigger. I'm not gonna be breaking up my carrots too much. I'm gonna do the same thing with this one. Protein, with the chicken, vegetables. I love green beans, okay? So we're just creating a kind of a sore and an arrangement to do is now we're gonna kind of focus onto the peppers here. I love sun-dried tomatoes. Take out a couple, and I'm just gonna put them on each red pepper, okay? So I have garlic here. I'm just going to dice them up, sprinkle it, into the peppers, okay? Because that's gonna just bring out the flavor. You can just kind of sprinkle it over the, uh, the carrots and the green beans, portobello mushrooms, and I'm gonna put them right over on top of each pepper. This is finely chopped olives. And again, I'm just gonna put it in into each little cup. We're gonna have bacon in this. Our saturated fats, that's what we need to pay attention to. So 0.5 grams, one tablespoon. We're gonna do one tablespoon. And actually, I'm just gonna use my fingers and just into each little pepper here. Garnish it a little bit with, uh, with chives, okay? These are, uh, you just buy in your, in your spice section, your grocery store. One tablespoon of virgin olive oil. Drizzle over this whole thing. And this is enough, literally, for this whole entire meal. Pepper, pepper, pepper is gonna be going on my, my chicken, my vegetables, my green, pe uh, my uh, red peppers. You can get your favorite barbecue sauce. And just, again, a little bit, a little bit. Because as this heats in the oven, this is just gonna spread out. So I use a horseradish mustard. These are foods that don't contain any saturated fats. Okay, so again, drizzle. Little, 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 little. Peanuts and, and almonds and sunflower seeds. This is a, a healthy, you know, uh, fat that we're putting on here. Then I'm actually just sprinkling over and this isn't, this is unsalted. I'm gonna add some Brussels sprouts and we know we're gonna make room. <laughs> 
So what we're gonna do is we're gonna bake this for, now your, your chicken is already thawed out, so we're gonna do 31 minutes. If it's frozen, not a problem. You're gonna cook it for about 40 minutes, okay? So all this is gonna cook all at the same time. It's not only do you have one meal, but we have two meals. So your meal for tomorrow is already prepared. You've already made it. Let's go ahead and pull out, according on the cob that we have, and our fabulous, oh, oh. That's what I'm talking about. And you're gonna be really grateful that you didn't order that pizza. This is the part of my show where I answer your emails, your video blogs, in-person home visits. Hey Aaron, I just wanted to say that you are such an inspiration and a figure of motivation for me. Thank you. I have recently become a cancer survivor. That's awesome, congrats on that. I work out at least three times a week I jump rope, weight train. Let's see, I'm at the point where I've hit a plateau and need to burn off the remaining fat. Okay, Eric. Right. At first, you know, our body catches on to what we're doing. We, get, we start to see the results. We start to lose the weight. We start to see change. But then what happens is, is that the body kind of catches on. Change up your workouts every three to four weeks. Well, even though we're working the same muscle, we're just doing a different exercise, a different motion, different angle, working it differently. And because we're gonna be doing that and tricking the muscle, it's gonna think that it's being worked for the first time. And you're probably low on your caloric intake. And so rule of thumb is, you know, four to six small meals a day, every three hours, you know, and then maybe even 45, 60 minutes before bed, you're having perhaps maybe just a protein shake or something to kind of just fuel your muscles as you rest. That, that's gonna ignite your metabolism. Are you taking a multivitamin, okay? So if you're doing your workouts, you're burning a lot of nutrients and we want to replenish your, your body, I would use four o'clock as a cutoff point of eating carbohydrates. So let's fill your body earlier in the day with the carbs to help you get through your workout, to help get you through your work day. Basically after four, it's gonna be your proteins, it's gonna be vegetables and probably fruits. With that, I encourage all of you to continue to send your emails in, your video blogs, and that will take you from zero to sanity.